Welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Hi guys, I thought we would start a couple of cards today. So the other day when I was making those bright pink Hawaiian cards, remember those? I had the idea for this card. Sometimes when I'm creating, I get a flood, right? Just a flood of ideas come through my mind about other cards that have nothing to do with that card. And in this case, that's what happened. So I had this idea to make that, that round circle, the frame, and to use colors of blue cut out in different ways to create an ocean scene or like a beach scene. Um, but I didn't have any sand in it for some reason. My picture, the brain in my mind had no sand, so I don't know that I'll be doing any browns. But just to have those those ocean colors, right, in the background, and then use some of my die cuts that have sea creatures or sea things or whatever, and just kind of make a card out of that. So I pulled some things that will help me do that or try to make this card. I'm gonna use the circle die because that's what I had in my head. Um, I had two ideas at that time. One was to use just straight pieces of cardstock going across to make the horizon lines, if you will. And then I thought, well, I could do wavy make it more interesting and do wavies. So I'm gonna make one, um, I'm gonna use this for one card and then I'm gonna use this to make the straight lines. This was that um, Simple Stripes portrait from Lawn Fawn. It was part of the D stash that I did a couple of weeks ago that didn't sell. I'm gonna go ahead and use that for the first time and um, make one with that. So this will have straight lines and then this, the other one will have this. I've cut out three, four pieces of cardstock and three in different colors of blues and teals. So I've got a darker blue, a darker teal and a lighter teal. And then I've got whites for my frame. And I did the same thing over here. Um, for this one, I think I'll do circles. And for this one, I think I'll do ovals. And then we'll do all the die cutting um, to go around it and figure out our sentiment after that. So for right now, this is what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna pull out the die cutting machine. We'll cut out our frames first. And then we'll start cutting our cardstock to do the lane, the lanes, the lames. Yeah, we're gonna do the lames to do the lines. And then I'm gonna have everything fit behind this frame. So we'll need another circle die and an oval die. Although we could cut around it, right? We can make it easy and do it that way. So that's the plan for today. Stick around and let's see what happens. So I've gone ahead and collected the dies that I'm going to use. I did decide against that Lawn Fawn stitched, striped, their thing or whatever. I decided just to do the waves. Um, as I thought about it for these, the frames that I chose, the um, the strip strips were going to be too big, right? I needed something a little bit smaller or something that I could adjust the size. I also picked out this cute Lawn Fawn paper. Um, in plaid in this nice blue plaid i thought that would look cute with the scene that i've decided to do and i've kind of laid it out here in front of me as to how i'm going to set this up so i've got a circle a rectangle and an oval i did add the rectangle to the mix also i figured i would do three cards I have a bunch of dies I'm going to be choosing from, and I thought maybe we could squeeze out three cards. So I'm going to do one square, which is a five and a half by five and a half, one landscaped um, A2 size, and one portrait A2 size. And for each of them, I figured I would add a cloud scene to the background. So I've pulled out a Darcy embossing envelope, and I'm just going to add some clouds to that the lightest color, which is gonna be our sky, and um, and I'll do that for all three. So you can't really see the clouds in this. I tried to show them to you, but I'm going to be adding some ink to them and you'll be able to see them very good then. So I've got my ink daubers here, which is perfect when you're doing embossing folders or doing you know that raised thing. It, it really helps when you've got something a little smaller and daubers are inexpensive and you can use them forever it seems. So I've got my white ink. Now this white ink takes a while to dry so I'll have to be setting it aside and um, letting it dry. I love how it made the clouds look kind of fluffy. And so I'm gonna do that for all three of these backgrounds and then we'll come back and put it together. And here we are. 
quicker than I could talk. All right, so I'm going to be putting each one of these together kind of the lazy way, if you will. I've already got it set out the way I like it on my table. I'm gonna use my glue and I'm gonna be putting my frames down exactly where I want them on the scene and then I'll just trim it around, right? That way when I go to add my little clouds behind the scene, I can put the clouds exactly where I want them and then glue everything down more securely. So I've just tacked it around the frame, but I'll be adding some glue to the bottom of the blue sky, which will hold it all together as well as adding it to the frame, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna do that for all three cards as well. And um, that's gonna be the center. That's gonna be my little center to this gorgeous paper that I chose. Now, right now I'm adding fun foam to the back. Um, for this particular card, I'm using fun foam and attaching it with my tape runner to the back of the card. That's how I'm normally doing things lately. I've, I've really kind of gone away from using the 3M um, double-sided tape because it's just so expensive. And if I'm going to show you videos, I want to give you ways that are less expensive. So I did use the double-sided tape for one of these, but it's because I already had it. So these are all those dies I was talking about. When I had this vision, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking about having that ocean scene in bright blue tones, right? With bright white frames and a bright white beach scene, you know, like the elements were going to be white. And I thought that it would be super sharp. And I even thought at one point about doing it in a shaker, but you know, it's, it was just, I believe just like the, having those bigger stripe things from Lawn Fawn would have just been too much, right? Too much on that little bitty frame. All right. So here I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put in this third one because I added a third card, right? So um, I was thinking I would use that small seahorse, but I did change my mind. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm laying out the card because I knew kind of what I wanted. I've kind of got to see where I want my elements to go on the card. And here's what it's going to look like. So super bright, um, very Florida, very pretty. I, I absolutely loved how these turned out. All right, so I think at this point, I'm gonna glue everything down. Everything's already attached to the front of the cards, by the way, I think you saw that, or at least you saw it on one. So I'm just gonna use the glue or the tape, whatever I've chosen for that card, and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it down. So for this one, we've got the fun foam. For the circle, we have the fun foam. And then for the lighthouse, I use the 3M double-sided tape. And then when I looked at them, when I compared them, there really wasn't that much of a difference in height. So you can see this one has the, um, the 3M tape on the back of it. I also use the um, same pattern paper to accent uh, the boat, the sails in the boat, and the little lines in my lighthouse. And that was, I just loved that. I thought that that was so sweet added so much to the card. I couldn't find another way to do that on this third card. So the third card's my least favorite, but it's gonna be a fan favorite with my family and friends because lobster season is a thing here in Florida. So that's gonna be a fan favorite, but the other two are definitely my favorite. They both, I love them equally as, as much. Um, I mean equally. I love that five five and a half by five and a half card and the land the um, portrait card. Just love. Okay, getting back to the cards though, I've cut out the elements that I'm going to use in the corners of my card. All of my elements are going to be on the right and left bottom corners of my card, and I'm doing them in threes. So I decided to do them in threes on each corner because my element in the middle of the card. The, the lighthouse or the boat or the lobster was going to be the fifth element, right? The odd thing. Because you really, when you're designing a card, you want it to be um, in odd numbers. For some reason, people look at a card and it looks off if it's in even numbers. 
So when I was first laying it out, when I cut them out, having just two in one corner and three in another corner, it didn't look right to me. And it makes kind of sense because that image in the middle kind of pulls your eye and makes it be the fifth thing, right? So even though there's a lot of color and a lot of things going on with these cards, they're very, um, they're very clean and simple, right? It's just some die cuts and some color. I absolutely think adding the little um, shells and starfish to the bottom of the card added so much to this card. I don't think it would have, I don't think it would have turned out as good if ha had I not added it. So for those little things, what I did is I left two of the items um, flat to the card and one popped up and double popped up in some cases, like that big starfish over there is double popped up. The little starfish by the boat is one times popped up. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two cards as well. So I tried to keep things a little different with each card so they weren't exactly the same. So I had um, three different size sand dollars, which was really nice in my stash. I had a gigantic one, and then I had like two or three other ones. So um, I had a lot of variety to choose from. So I did sand dollars. I did um, the see, the starfish, and um, I did one that small um, seahorse. That's what they're called. I got it. Yay for me. This, the um, seahorse I'm going to put right here on this side. And I decided to use him even though I didn't use him in this, the other card because the lobster, it just it said something to me really. I know that's going to be a favorite even though it's not my favorite. But the little seahorse I thought was so cute. So cute on the bottom of this card. Um, I'm happy I kept him in white even though you kind of, his face kind of um, loses a little bit on that frame I think. But I still think it's super pretty. I'll have close-ups at the end so you guys can see them a little better because I know working with three of them, I'm not zoomed in quite as well as I could have been. As I'm going along, some off-camera, some on-camera, I'm adding um, the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen to the clouds, um, to part of the lighthouse, to part of the boat, and then, of course, to the shells and things I'm adding to the bottom. Just a little bit, not a lot. And just enough for it to catch some light because I'm not going to be adding any um, any pearls or dots or embellishments of any type on these cards. I'm going to leave them just as they are, and I'm going to create a little matching em the matching envelopes. I'll do that off camera, but I'll create white matching envelopes with the back fold down panel and the same um, checked background, you know, I'll use that as the same for the fold down. So the envelopes will kind of be matching the card. And I think that'll be super cute. I'll have to make the square one, the square envelope myself, but the other two, I can just use pre-made envelopes and then attach a strip on the back that'll tie it in. So I just think this turned out wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I have to say it really did turn out for the most part exactly like I had envisioned it. Um, I did not envision any sand, which is why I added the blue. I added the dark blue for two reasons. One, because I wanted to represent a darker color at the bottom of this ocean scene, right? And to add that shadow effect. So those were the two reasons I chose the dark blue. I couldn't make up my mind what color blue to put there, but I really wanted there to be a big difference between those blues as we went up. And I think it turned out fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And using that um, gingham or checked paper, whatever it is, I just think it was marvelous. I, I, I really was happy with this, this setup. Look at that, so blooming pretty. All right, guys. I enjoyed making this video so very much. I just had the best time. Hey, did you stick around to the very end? If you did and you would like to win this Lawn Farm die called 
stitch stripes or something. I don't remember. I'm showing it to you now. Leave a comment telling me you were that you stuck around to the end and I'll pick the first commenter. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.